My name is Simon and welcome to this second episode of Boosting Your Scan Tool Skills. This series is for you who recently got started working with cars and you have perhaps bought your very first scan tools and would like some ideas and inspiration of how to use it. This second episode focuses on a specific error code which is linked to the catalytic converter. It is the code P0420 which basically means that your catalytic converter is broken, it doesn't convert all the gases like it's supposed to. So I think we should jump right to it, so come on. When the police are investigating serious crimes, murder cases, theft, robbery, doesn't really matter, they are relying on key witnesses. And when they get this key witness, what they want is to verify that the person actually is telling the truth about the crime that happened. In this case, we're going to follow that same principle because we are going to interrogate our key witness here who is ratting out the catalytic converter to the electronic control unit. Our key witness is called the O2 sensor downstream. This is a sensor which monitors the exhaust gases which is uh, passing through the exhaust manifold through the catalytic converter and when converted it's getting measured by our key witness here. The signal that we'll be looking on should actually be very different than the one from the upstream sensor. What you want is a signal which is around 0.5 volts like uh, in, a in a horizontal line you could say. If you don't have that if the signal looks like the signal from the upstream O2 sensor, then you know something is wrong. So why does it actually make sense to interrogate this O2 sensor before just swapping out the converter? We already read the diagnostic trouble code. We know this is the case. Well, imagine that this O2 sensor is somehow broken or worn out or for whatever reason simply doesn't send the correct signal then it actually does make sense to verify that our key witness is telling the truth. Swapping out a catalytic converter can be a difficult job and it can also be quite expensive. And doing this little test, it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes and then you basically already know it. So I think we should hook up my scan tool to my car and figure out whether I have a bad catalytic converter or not. So I have my scan tool connected now and what you want to do is you want to enter, enter the engine control module. Yes, and it doesn't matter which scan tool you have, you are able to see the exact same live data or data stream as I am. This is exactly where we're going to go in. Now remember before you do this test, the car needs to have the uh, correct operation temperature. If the catalytic converter is not heated until the operating temperature, uh, the results can say it, it doesn't do uh, what it's supposed to. It needs to be at least four or 400 degrees before it's efficient. So, but nevertheless, so what we have here is O2 sensor bank one, sensor one, sensor two. Sorry, you can see it there. This is our upstream, and I want to see that at the same time actually. And then we have our key witness, it's here, O2 sensor, bank 1, sensor 2. And the reason that you want to see both is because they, those two signals need to be very different from each other. So already right now I can see that we have kind of modulating numbers here. But when you're looking at a data stream like this, if you have the option, press the graph and you're actually able to see it. And we can press combine in this case. So what you actually see here is the blue one, which is the upstream. And it is like a sinus curve, basically modulating up and down. And that's completely what it's supposed to look like. But actually what you then see, our downstream, the one which is orange, it basically mimics the S1. And this tells me this catalytic converter, it simply doesn't work. It is true that this diagnostic trouble code I got on my car, 
uh, it is the truth. Uh, what you would have seen if the O2 sensor or the catalytic converter was actually okay, you would be able to see that the orange line, it should have been like this, just a flat line. That's it. So that is it. I hope you liked this video. Uh, yeah, and as always, I want you to stay safe, take care, and hope to see you again. Bye.